Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Sean Aaron, a respirologist at the Ottawa Hospital. Today I'd like to talk to you about cystic fibrosis, a condition that affects many individuals and families around the world. In this video, I will explain what cystic fibrosis is and what causes it. I will share with you some of the symptoms associated with this genetic disorder, as well as some information about life expectancy which has seen remarkable improvements over the years. Please hit subscribe and like this video to help us reach as many people as we can to share this health video. Now, let's dive in. First off, what is cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis, often referred to as CF, is a genetic disorder that primarily affects the respiratory, digestive, and reproductive systems. It stems from a defective gene that leads to the production of thick and sticky mucus. This thick and sticky mucus makes it difficult for organs like the lung, pancreas, and digestive tract to do the work they need to do in the body. Typical complications caused by cystic fibrosis include difficulty digesting fats and proteins, malnutrition, vitamin deficiencies due to the inability to absorb nutrients, progressive lung damage from chronic infections and aberrant inflammation, CF-related diabetes, and sinus infections. In 2021, Cystic Fibrosis Canada estimated 4,338 Canadians have the condition. Of these, 35% were children and 65% adults. That same year, there were 98 new diagnoses and 67 of those were through neonatal screening. Now, what are the causes of cystic fibrosis? CF is a genetic disease that occurs when a child inherits two defective copies of the gene responsible for cystic fibrosis, one from each parent. Approximately 1 in 25 Canadians carry one defective copy of the CF gene. Carriers do not have CF, nor do they exhibit any of the related symptoms. When two CF carriers have a child, there is a 25% possibility that the child will be born with CF, a 50% possibility that the child will be a carrier, and a 25% possibility that the child will not be a carrier nor have CF. Now you're wondering, what are the symptoms of cystic fibrosis? CF is what we call a multi-system disorder, which means that it impacts many different parts of the body. Symptoms might include a persistent cough with thick mucus, wheezing and shortness of breath, frequent chest infections, bowel disturbances, weight loss or failure to gain weight despite increased appetite, apparent salty tasting sweat, and infertility for men and decreased fertility for women. Let's address some common misconceptions about CF. First, it's crucial to understand that CF is not contagious. It's a genetic condition. If you're thinking about starting a family, you might be wondering about the risks of having a baby with CF. If you or your partner are the close relative of someone with CF, you might wanna consider being tested for the CF gene. In the unlikely event that you or your partner both carry the gene, there's a one in four possibility that your baby will be born with CF. Understanding these odds is an important part of the family planning process. Now let's talk about life expectancy for individuals with CF. Life expectancy for individuals with CF has seen remarkable improvements over the years. Statistics from reputable sources like the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, Cystic Fibrosis Canada, and ongoing research here at the Ottawa Hospital indicate a positive trend in increasing life expectancy. In 2021, the median age of survival was estimated at 57.3 years. In 2001, the same data was estimated at 35.9 years. The survival rate has been increasing. We now have incredible new drugs for CF that improve symptoms decrease infections, and prolong life for more than 85% of patients. This is now a manageable disease, and we expect that most people born with CF today 
will be able to live out a near normal lifespan. I hope that this has helped you to better understand cystic fibrosis. If you are looking for a deeper understanding of this condition, I encourage you to visit reputable sources like the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and Cystic Fibrosis Canada. You can find a link to these resources in the video description below. For more videos like this about other health topics, subscribe to our channel, The Ottawa Hospital, and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.